deep is your love? Yo, what's up, guys? Here is Happy No with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video. And on this video, I decided to show you uh, the game already started. It's off season, as you all might know. Forest of Niflhel. Yeah, let's go for Forest. I don't. Oh my god, I wanted to see the new Battle of Kylo map. Damn it. That's what I was thinking of. Please, yes! <laughs> Thank you, the one guy who voted this map. Uh, I wanted to show you now the difference between the normal Berserker Condi Warrior and this current beta uh, Signet DPS Warrior here. Okay, we have a pretty decent team. I'm DPS, my team is D 1 DPS, 2 Condis. Or this guy is also DPS, I don't know. We are fighting 2 Scrappers, 1 Necro one warrior and one revenant okay as you all know this current meta thing is maze shield and great sword and damn i look so cool this is my new character uh, it's on german blut engel and on english it's bloody angel x it's a really old friend of mine who had a name like this on another game and he was like my mentor he teached me a lot of things <laughs> back then. Sigil of Intelligence. I don't know if I have copied it right or not. Sigil of Air and Sigil of Air and Sigil of Hydromancy. With the Rune of Pack and Berserk Amulet. The build remains Berserker build, build. So the traits haven't changed here. I just show it to you because I I've, I've for forget it most of the time. And let's check it out. Oh, that's the map. That's the new map. Okay, weird. This looks so weird. What the hell happened? Okay. <laughs> uh, the pro side, or better said, the better side of this build is that you have more mobility than on the normal Berserk Condi Warrior build. But I need to get in into the game because I haven't played. What the hell? Is this a bug of my graphics or what the hell? They just removed it completely. We blocked that. Oh shit. What am I doing? I just activated my signet too early. This guy. Let's go for this guy. He seems to be lower and he should be dead now. Oh my god, my timing is so bad. We interrupted that. And this guy is dead. We can just kill him, okay. I failed now a little bit, but never mind. We can still get this. And we will get this. We stun him. He's blocking, we block too. And this game is over. On our close point, the Ellie died. He seems to be DPS or what. As you can see the good thing here is the mobility and so because I'm freaking ta uh, lazy today we are winning mid and whoa I don't like this change. I mean it had something that you were not able to just get into this pretty fast. Oh I need to block. I need to do damage. I should have avoided something but Never mind. We destroy this guy here. Oh, I need to block. I need to block. I haven't kept the point. Now we can go for this. Ha! I failed it hardcore. <laughs> what? Oh, my Greatsword 5 was not ready. What a cooldown. <laughs> oh, 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 he had me. Damn it. I need to get this scrapper. What the hell? This cooldown is too long. This cooldown is too long. I need to practice a little bit more. <laughs> we go stun this guy. Okay. Oh well, I'm, I'm still not so bad as I thought because I mained 
I mainly played the uh, my you no know, heart of thorns power warrior build, and it's basically the same as this guy uh, as this build, but just with the fact that you don't have to what the hell no 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 don't waste your signet. I mean, what the hell? This map is just. Huh. Let's talk about the map a little bit. It's now beginners friendly, I would say, but oh, I don't really know, guys. Now, is it possible that the thief can't port out there here to be safe anymore, or is it possible to port up onto this thing here? Enemy. This is like the weirdest clock tower ever <laughs> in history of Guild Wars 2. Uh, what I wanted also to talk about is the differences. Well, they tag their own allies here. <laughs> this build is pretty good, I would say, but it lacks on almost everything. It lacks on Condi cleans because you have either to waste your signet. Oh my god, oh my god, I just interrupted the. We interrupt this guy, we go like this. <laughs> Mm. Oh, damn it! So close to stunning. Now the DPS is pretty epic, but what I don't like is the uh, the cooldown of your skills. As you can see, Wildland Attack and Rush has a 20 seconds cooldown, which is freaking too long. And then I can't make so good examples now because the teams are not so even. Siege Killer. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, you you get also new achievements. So that's also nice, but oh my god! Even this thing—they have to ruin that. Why? Uh, uh, let's go close to do a one v one against this guy. What is he? It's the warrior. Let's see if I'm the better warrior. Uh, I most of the times use. Will he be dodging? No, he's not. We block his next attack, or we even reflect that. We go for a quick burst. He already wasted his skills, so we can go on. What the hell? I'm missing so many attacks. Ha! Whoa, I just dodged that so badly. No! Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> this is the problem what I wanted to mention. Uh, I just dodged that, 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 that. That attack was too far, but I, I'm always expecting that they have the same skill range as the Great Sword. Because with the Great Sword, I was standing here. This guy was like near close to the point. He does his arcing slice attack, and he just wrecked me. Oh, now I can't. Let me one v one. He won't let me. Oh, anyways, I just wait till he dies, and then we can one v one. Yep. Okay, I need to focus a little bit more uh, because I wasted my Andrew Payne a little bit too early. Oh, and this guy, man, with, th with his freaking stun. We need to block attacks. We block that attack. Okay. Now. Here comes the problem what I was mentioning. What? What the hell? Why am I attack not hitting? The problem that I have with this build is the Condi Queens. Man, I would have got him this time <laughs> because I blocked his most of his attacks plus he had double Andrew pain. I could have won this. Never mind. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I don't even know what achievements do we get on PvP here, competitive. Uh, wow. What? Uh, you gain a title? What? Huh? Lord Slayer? On which map am I? On Battle of Kylo. So this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The damage is still pretty good, but with my Berserker Warrior build I do more damage, but I have not the same survivability which is the problem okay now the warrior wants to know it <laughs> we just go for this I need to block that because I have no stability oh my god man fuck off 
The cooldown of my skills is just too insanely high, man. <laughs> and what the hell? Why am I not having my second? I got him. Okay, he helped me a little bit, but why the hell am I not getting my second Ender Pain? Did I, did I just not get this? I have it still up. Yeah. Okay. I will say one v one against this guy, but I'm playing this build now for the first time, so excuse me. I just wanted to have a warrior with my epic looking great sword. And as you saw, when a Condi like that, like the this other guy came in, you just don't have the Condi cleans. You have to go leave the fight, and this is a huge problem. Okay, we need to destroy normally this gyro because the gyro will stealth him and stuff. Okay, the gyro is gone, but I said both are gone. What I like about this is that this Great Sword 2, uh, Great Sword F1 skill has this freaking huge range. What have I done? I have done top offense and top healing. Okay, <coughs> the one with the healing is. Yeah, yeah, okay. The Ellie was DPS, so I have the max healing. That's okay. Now I show you the combos, but even through it's the same as on my Power Warrior build. But I have there my longbow to remove the conditions. And I should have tried this build with my longbow. But this build relies on your blocking attacks and running away. Because if you don't run away, you wanna, you will get wrecked. Uh, and as I said, the problem that I face now, but it's because I played my Power Warrior build this season, the uh, cooldown of my skills are is a little bit too long as I normally would play. Because when I swap and swap, I know oh, I, I will have Wired Wound up, but this time it wasn't that. Now the Signet of Might will allow you to have uh, this 2.5k attack, plus when you use it, is it will be gone but you will still have might so above 2.4k attack plus you have those five or six seconds unblockable attacks this is especially good and now this is the recommendation when you should play power warrior uh, like this better set against d8 against enemy warriors it's good and that's it <laughs> with the condi warrior on the other side you you are able to beat almost any other profession Better said any. The problem that you face will be D8s, but there is it is important only to do a good timing. And the other problem that I faced was the stability till I activated it. You have to activate stability to be safe. And then use this. And as you can see I'm hitting this guy and also this guy. This skill has like freaking the highest range on game it says four hundred and four hundred and fifty but it it's for sure not that ha that range of this attack, or maybe it is 450. I don't know. But the normal great sword attack, let's see it here. I wait till this guy pops up, and I stay even closer to this, so we can see closer to this guy. Nope, <laughs> you don't hit it. That's the difference. What why I like this arcing slice attack, or what's the name of it? Uh, yeah. Uh, arc diver yeah that's the cool thing on this build that it has this huge range which, where you hit targets now the downside as I said if you miss your arcing arc diver or school grinder you won't remove conditions so you will be wrecked so you will have permanently to activate your signet and the signet gives only five or six seconds yeah six seconds resistance and after that you are just wrecked and during that, while you're running away, you are not able to clean conditions if you have no enemy. So you will be wrecked. The problem with this build is it needs, I would say, a lot of practice to learn when to leave fights and when not. If you are not, if you are not someone who watches the map a lot of every game, I don't recommend to play this. Uh, on the other hand, yeah, let's show you some something that I got new now I just finished the story so fast man. okay on my female guardian it looked better but it looks like a man who's freaking wearing a p 
pervert, pervert mask. <laughs> uh, Grant hoodie, or what is it, the name of it? Grant hood. Mighty Toxic Pauldron. The shoulders. The Mistward plate. Mighty Bladed. And Mistward Bladed Glaives. Gloves. Glaive. Uh, bladed. Bladed. Uh, whoa, whoa. I forget the name. Ah, anyways. Th these are basically my skins. As you can see, I have tons of skins. That's why I don't have a legendary. I have like freaking awesome. A lot of skins. This skin here, Night Fury, costs 1.6k gold or even more. Let's check it out. I crafted it. Night Fury. Yeah, it's cheaper now. But they are so stupid, man. The costs of this crafting this were about 1.3k or over 1 1k gold I would say if you crafted the most of it by yourself so it makes no sense to sell it so cheap and I, I said that to myself too why should I sell it for uh, same price of that because you have to also count the time that you spend it crafting this I had like two weeks because I had no so, not so much time to craft it I, it took me two weeks for that and I should give it for like to make a profit of two three hundred gold and having spent two weeks on it so I said yeah let's let's just take it why not uh, to the gameplay I will say you have to be fast you have to put your stunts use school grinder swap arcing slice and put the damage out really fast because once your berserker stance is gone you have to leave fights you have to play defensive run away you have 90k hp you lack on condi cleans and these are the two problems also of course you have no stability that's why i for myself i would have played it now either with shattering blow or with outrage to have the stun break i don't really care about this unblockable attacks because the cooldown was 25 seconds cooldown Plus you will miss, uh, you will miss, you will often waste your signet wrong and then you have like those 5 seconds, let's say against the warrior he will pop and your pain and you will have done nothing so it's better to have a stun break, especially if you don't have the stability uh, while you are off berserker mode. And that was it guys, I hope you enjoyed it and my next video will probably be a condi revenant or some other video i'm not sure but i hope you like this video i hope you saw a little bit of the gameplay it's my first time so don't judge me too early i expected the great sport cds to be shorter that's why i failed a little bit and yeah i was just showing you the build so never mind that was happy no and now you see everywhere around videos of me who you can watch or don't watch and subscribe to my channel I don't like to say that, just do it if you want to and don't do it if you don't and that's it. I see you in my next videos, bye bye guys.